Hi, in this tutorial, you will learn how to create an orange cup photo manipulation in Photoshop. In this video, I tried to explain step by step. I use several techniques that may be useful to you elsewhere. So let's get started. Subscribe and most importantly hit the bell to stay notified about new videos. Start selecting your object. You can use any tool you like. I used from Select Menu and Subject. By holding the Shift key, I enhance some parts to it. Also by holding the Alt key, you can subtract some parts from your selection. Of course, before that, you must grab one of the selection tool from the Tools panel. Import photo of the orange and convert it to Smart Object. Make a copy with Ctrl plus J and hide it, because we will need it later. Currently create a background with a white solid. Clip the orange layer to the cup layer by holding the Alt key and click here. With Ctrl plus T, right click and warp you can reshape the orange layer as you want to do. By holding the Alt key and drag the layer, you making a copy from it. To add a mask to new layer, click on this icon. Then with Ctrl plus I change the color of the mask to black. This work hiding the new orange layer so that we can show the places we want with the brush tool. So now grab the brush tool from the tools panel and making as you want to do. Make sure the color of the brush is white. Repeat this step again and again so that to come to the best result. For save your time I increase speed of this section of the video. Okay, this is my work result on this step. To make work easier, I convert all the orange layers to a smart object. But it's better than you transfer those to a group layer. Anyway, now for the content part inside the cup, first draw a shape with ellipse tool. Then import the slice of the orange photo. Clip this layer to the ellipse layer and reshape it until to come the best result. To improve the edges of the cup I use the ellipse layer, and I match the color to the background. To rough the edges of the layer, I used batter effect from filter menu and filter gallery. For the background of this work I use two picture. One is a photo of the kitchen, and the other is a photo of wood. First I put the photo of the kitchen, and add blur effect to this. Then it was the turn of the wood photo, I reshaped it, and add blur effect to this too. I added a little shadow to the below of the cup with the brush tool on the new layer. To make lighting effect add a curves to cup layer and make it darker. Double click on the right hand side of the left this opens up the layer styles dialog box. Now in the blend if section you're going to take this slider of underlying layer from right to left. With the brush tool, make it better by remove the parts that are brighter. Make the wood layer darker, and you can make brighter the central parts of the layer like the previous method. Also do this for the kitchen. Maybe it is better to bring the background color a little closer to the color of the cup. Like this. I imported the slices of orange and apply previous effect to those. Also maybe a little shadow can be improving the result.
Also, you can add some smoke effect with the brush tool to your work. To add a reflection effect, make a copy from your layer and press Ctrl plus T, right click and flip vertical. Then decrease the opacity, add a mask and make it better with brush tool. I made some more lighting and shadows to get better result. Also you can change the background to a colorized style. From gradient fill in this setting you can make a thing like this. I think this is also good. Okay. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe and most importantly hit that bell to stay notified about future videos at all times. It's totally free and you'd support me big time. Anyway guys, then I hope I'll see you in my next video.